let's do some tapping. Bundan. 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 Bundan ke muti araya. Patola pan ke. Kanna bich pippar kaya. Chura tan ke. Mere sonia sonia ve. Chasing this brings back so many memories of another chick. Yeah, it's like, oh, bro, you always just talk about all these girls. Oh. Yeah, I know, but it's just, what a video. Like, don't you guys want, like, stories with, like, morals and values and stuff, yeah? Like, you know, like, I think, like, this is a sign that, like, I always, like, come across things that remind me of, like, you know, the ghosts of my, you know, past or whatever, you know, all the girls. So, anyways, <laughs> okay, so there was this amazing girl a long time ago, many moons ago, back when, you know, back when I used to be full of myself. Not that, like, I'm sure people probably think I still am, but. You know, anyways, so this girl was like a hairdresser, and she was honestly like the sweetest girl I've ever met. You know how they say, well, the one that got away? Like, I know I have a lot of those, and like, I have a lot of the ones that got away, so it's not even just the one, but this one actually was like the original. Like, this was the one, you know, that got away. And when I had it, I didn't appreciate her, yo. Took her for granted. Kept cheating on her with my ex-girlfriends and all that. And, you know, it was just a big mess. And I regret it, obviously. Because I turned out the ex-girlfriend didn't even care about me. She just wanted to, like, you know, have me break things off with the other girl. So she, like, would cry and guilt trip and see, oh, how she loves me and she wants me back and all this stupid nonsense, right? That I clearly fell for it because I'm, like, a dumbass. And so, I, you know, I, I ruined it with the other one. And after everything was said and done, the girl that made me break up with the proper girl, she eventually later, like, years later, she admitted that she actually, like, you know, did all that nonsense just to, like, have me break up with the one that I actually cared about and the one that actually cared about me. So, I don't know, man. I've been with, like, really sneaky girls like that, like, kind of makes you question everything. So, that's why I always say, like, if you have a good girl in your life, yo, do not let her go. Trust me, the grass is not ever greener on the other side it's greener where you water it and give it enough sunlight and like nutrients and take care of it and all that stuff so anyways um yeah, so I used to be super full of myself, and then after, like, one time, like, you know, we got into, like, a little argument, because, like, she said, like, I don't even care about anyone except for myself, like, she's like, you think you're the king and all that shit, 
But, like, you know, like, you don't even care about other people. Like, that's not what kings do, you know? And then she's like, you think you're the best and all that. And, like, you know, you treat everybody else like shit. And me being an arrogant dumbass, I was like, so what? I am the best, you know? And after hearing that, like, she got so pissed off. That I guess she just figured out, like, there was no getting through to me, right? So, she got out of my truck and slammed the door. Or, like, she closed it. I don't even think she slammed it. Even though she should have, but she was nice like that. And she just started walking home. And then after she left, I realized, yo, bro, I made a big mistake. Like, what the hell? Like, is ego really worth losing someone who really gives a shit about me? Because I, like, you to always, like, put her through shit. Like, you know, be like, oh, I cheated on you, this and that. And I should be just like, yo, please don't do it again. Like, I really care about you and all right? And then I'll be like, all right, and then next day I would do it again. And just kept repeating it, and eventually she just couldn't take it anymore. You know? Which I hate myself for, to be honest. Because it's like, once, like, you know, like, she left the truck. When I look back at it now, right, it's like, you know, had I not said, like, the whole, yeah, so what, I am the best nonsense, she would have still been here, you know? Who knows where our life would have ended up. Because she really cared about me and I really liked it too. But I was just so caught up in the player lifestyle. That I was trying not to get attached to any just one girl. And I was just like effing around. Cheating on all of them. And that's not a way to live your life, yo. Honestly, like it seems cool at the moment. But the long term consequences of losing like good girls... It's not even worth it. Like, and, you know, it just comes off as so insecure and, like, as if you, like, you have no self-control. You know, that's how I feel looking back at it. It's like, you know, like, the girls I was cheating on her with, they weren't even worth, like, the dirt under her foot. You know what I mean? Like, the proper ones. So I kind of regret it, to be honest. But, you know, she's gone further, and... For the longest time, I used to, like, regret this every day. And now it's, like, it's been so long that it's, like, you just kind of make peace with it, right? And you respect the fact that you made a mistake, you know? And I guess you just have to live with it. But that's big price to pay, yo, because she was honestly the one. Like, I'm sure maybe there might be more of those, you know, but she didn't deserve that, you know, like, she was actually nice, like, she was, like, a good, proper family girl and everything, cared about me, that was the biggest thing, you know, and, like, we had a lot in common, too, like, we both, like, came from, like, troubled families and all that, so we connected a lot, like, we were, like, beyond best friends, like, you know, we would, like, like text 24-7, like, Right away, like, you text and you get another message and you send it back and forth, like, like, less than even a minute between, like, replies, like, get what I mean? Like, you really have to like someone and, like, be connected to be talking that much and not even run out of things to say. Because I was just being myself and she was just being herself. And she used to say, like, how even when she has, like, a hard time at work or, like, you know other girls are mean and like mean to her whatever like she just thinks about me and it makes her all happy like that like i like really make her life worth it stuff like that man like sweet things no other girl has ever said to me and for me to go on and ruin it i hate myself for that you know but yeah and i mean i don't know man guess it's part of life but it's like like i'm sure people probably think i'm like the biggest douche or something because like it's like bro like you know you made these mistakes so many times how come you never learned you know you kept like making the same mistakes and honestly you're right like you know what i mean 
it is stupid on my part. Because, yeah, like, I guess she used to always forgive me for my dumbness. <laughs> that, like, I figured that, oh, she'll forgive me again, you know. But she never did, you know, because, you know, sometimes, like, enough is enough, you know. And, yeah, and I regret that. So, like, when somebody commented, like, I'm cocky or that I'm so egotistic when I have such an ego, honestly, it might come off that way. But I actually don't at all. I used to. But after losing that girl, yo, over, like, because of my ego or whatever, you know, I, I just wasn't really the same egotistical person and all full of myself that really humbled me to be honest that experience because it was like one dumb mistake one dumb egotistical comment and lost like the most amazing girl and it's been years and I haven't found anything like even close to her level like of amazingness and obviously beautifulness too like she was like the total package yo you know, but I guess it's part of life. It's like, you know, when you have these amazing girls in your lives, you don't realize how, like, lucky you really are. And then the moment you lose them and then you realize and then it's too late, it's like you're meant to, you know, be all full of yourself and, like, make all those mistakes and lose the meaningful ones so that later on you can actually feel this regret and learn the lessons you know because otherwise you would just keep treating them like you know whatever and keep cheating on them thinking they're replaceable or just be super full of yourself and egotistical and you know so yeah I mean I regret that but you know I guess what I'm trying to say is, guys, like, if you want, like, a happy life, yeah, don't make the same mistakes that I've made. Like, I remember, like, when I was with this girl, like, I used to do so good in school because I was so happy all the time because of how great she treated me and everything was just so perfect. Like, man, I can't believe, like, you know, she's actually gone forever, to be honest. Like, I do believe it now, obviously, but it's just like, because now I realize my mistakes, and it's too late, you know? Like, this was, like, back when I was, like, a teenager. Like, a dumb teenager, yeah. You know? Like, around the time I got, like, my first tattoo. And... Or, like, you know, most of my tattoos. So, yeah. You know, it's just, like, it sucks. Like, the fact that you can't go back in time. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, you know, like, we all play video games and stuff. And I feel like the video games kind of ruin it. Because, like, they give you this illusion that, like, you can just, like, you know, reset life. Like, you could just press on the reset button and everything's all proper and handy-dandy, right? And it doesn't work out like that. So everybody else might be like, yo, but why are you bringing up this girl if it's been, like, so long and you were, like, a teenager back then or whatever? Because the hair clipper thing, she was a hairdresser, right? That's one reason. And the other reason is because, like, recently I actually met her, like, doppelganger, yo. Like, it's so, it's so bizarre. Like, I didn't even know, like, that was actually, like, real. Like, they say, like, there's seven people in the world that look just like you. Or, like, you know, there are, like, seven people that look the same in the world. You know, something like that. And I didn't believe it. But then I met this new girl, and she's, like... Her doppelganger, yo, like, straight up looks just like how she used to. And it brought back the memories. I had actually forgot about her. I guess I blocked her out or whatever. And then I remembered. I'm like, shit, man. 
you know, I did all those dumb mistakes and I lost such an amazing girl. You know, and I didn't want to repeat the mistakes with this one, I guess. But, still. Yeah. I try to show, like, the other one pictures of the other one. I'm like, yo, like, you look just like her. And then she was like, no, I don't. So I guess, like, doppelgangers don't really see the similarities, but other people do, maybe. I don't know. Okay, maybe in the next one I'll actually open it up and show you guys cards. But they're not going to be the same cards. They're actually, I'm just using this tin. I think, like, my cards are different, but...